Hello, thank you for watching. This is Game Audio Toolkit. In the last episode, we looked at a tool called Hourglass, which makes it really easy to create looping textures. I've received some positive feedback online, thank you for that. And I thought I'd dive a little bit deeper into the workflow of Hourglass and go from this to this. In the last episode, I showed how you can create a texture using individual sound files. And in Planet Coaster, we did this traditionally, overlaying many layers of recordings. Now let's see if we can't recreate that process using Hourglass as our tool. I want to give a shout out to James Stan, the creator of the language Planko, and the very talented staff at Frontier Developments. Sonas Cothoris. Ibati Quack. Tonto Sudus One. Over Lazy Say Hyundi. We took these individual recordings and layered them to create small, medium and large crowds. And in Hourglass, this process is a lot easier. We're going to be using the XY control pads. And from the last episode, you remember I used the mouse to control the fragment length and the fragment rate. And by using the control pad on the right, we can attach any of the parameters on the left to the X and the Y axis. Dragging the green dot around controls both of them at the same time. Without any layering or processing, that sounds great, and it only took half an hour to set up. Let's see if we can't use Hourglass for something else. For this concept trailer by Giles Ketting, I created a monster texture using a bicycle tire as input. I will put a link in the description to the full-length trailer. The monster file you just heard had a lot of processing on it, so I do not expect Hourglass to give me the exact same results, but we'll see. For this demonstration, I used the XY pad again and added a few more parameters to control. As you can see on the left, each parameter that's being controlled in real time has a yellow icon. In the mixer view, it is possible to add VST plugins, and I'm adding one called Glitch. It's a really fun plugin to use. I'll make sure there's a link in the description. An hourglass also comes with its own plugins. I'm adding a reverb, distortion, and an EQ. So that's not entirely the same result as I had in the original, but there's definitely some very interesting textures in there. Let's see what else we can create. When you begin using Hourglass, it can be a little overwhelming. There's a lot of controls and options, and almost everything has a sub-option when you right-click on it. Here, I'm adding an additional handle to the XY pad, now, one thing that caught me out a few times is that if you have automation mode on the right panel, this will conflict with the XY pad, but I fixed it by turning it off. 
Now in the next few examples, notice how little of the original source recording is being used to create these much longer textures. It's just amazing how quickly you get really good results with Hourglass, even from very short samples. One of the things I'm really, really interested in is found sounds and happy accidents. And Hourglass is great at that too. Let's take these three samples and manipulate them in real time. And it's a slightly hidden way you do this, but if you click on Rate Randomization, you get this extra option.
Thank you.